Excellent scrummage. Footed back, long pass going left. Is there an opportunity there? Two to one, going through the gap. It's a lovely break. First one for Susie's. After six and a half minutes. Lovely try. Let's look at this in slow motion. He rushes through two tackles. Do not look as determined, perhaps, as they could have been. And it's a lovely try by Susie's number 15, Oliver Marshall. Successfully converted. Susie's take a 7-0 lead. Well taken. Pups regain possession, and they see a gap through the centre there. Driving on. This is strong driving into the... Susie's half, ball pops back on the pup side, and there is a man over on the left-hand side, well seen. It was a very, very high ball for the pups number 10, but with very, very good hands. He's able to run in and touch the ball down, a wonderful try for Neville Edwards of the pups. See, this is slow motion again. Well won, solid platform. Going left, goes through two men, flips the ball out, a little high. But Neville Edwards has shown all through this tournament he has wonderful ball control, even when it's way above his head. Brings the score back to five points to seven. But the conversion is successful. Nicely popped over by the pups number six, Charlie Wharton. Scores a level at 7-7. Seven, seven. Crouch. With only a minute and a half Touch. before half time, Sit. both sides would love one more score to go into a modest half time lead. Nice little goose step here from the Susie number six, takes him all the way through. A great try by Thomas Brown under the post. <laughs> There should be a formality for Susie's number 14, Daniel Bibi. Yeah, a determined one. Shook off two tackles. And when uh, Thomas Brown is moving at that speed, nobody's going to stop him. It is indeed a formality. 7 14. He must release. But it comes out the other side, and a chance for Susie's number 15 to uh, step on it. And there's Oliver Marchand again. Flips it out to Angus Martin. And the ball out again to Joseph Ajua, there's no one who's going to stop him there. Joseph Ajua pops it down in the corner for the second Susie's, the third Susie's try. 7-19. Let's take a look at that in slow motion. Ball comes out, one-handed pass, evades one difficult tackle, a lovely reverse spin pass, and the ball is played out to Joseph Ajua, a very powerful runner, who touches down nicely in the corner to take Susie's into a 19-7 lead at half-time. Yeah, the kick sails past the right hand upright, so we have a half time score of 19 7. Uh, I am happy for us to. I am happy for us to step back and go against their slow boys, right? But we've got to be on the money with everyone's got to click in. Yeah. Must give the tackle player the chance to move the ball, but very quickly from the penalty. Susie Saluda through, and that's a fine try. Let's take a look at that in slow motion. The referee gives the penalty, taken very quickly by the scrum half, who sees the gap and runs strongly the 40 yards he had to, to cover the territory and pick up the extra points. Turning the Susie's lead into a 24-7 lead. 
Can Daniel Bibby add the bonus two points? Not an easy kick. But it has the height and it has the length, but not quite the direction. The score remains 24-7. Susie's lead, the Syria stuff pups. Christopher Bright will take some forward. Oh, and a gap opens up. An incredible gap opens up. For the Susie's fly half, Daniel Bibby. Let's take a look at that in slow motion because he's certainly went. A little shimmy there, left and right. A bit of high tackling, gets the ball away, and suddenly the gap appears. And when Bibby has half a chance, he goes, although seriously challenged by uh, the pup, goes over to extend the Susie's lead to 29 7 with a kick in front of the posts. And he does indeed convert his own try to take the lead to 31 points to 7 with 6 minutes remaining. This is advantage to Susie's. Advantage over. Determined break there by Susie's number eight, Mark Woodrow. And he's all the way there. Pops will try and keep him in the corner to make the kick a little more difficult, but that may be academic. As Susie's now surge ahead, 36 7. Let's take a look at this in slow mo. A determined break goes through. A slightly high tackle. But when Mark Woodrow is in full flow, he's very hard to stop. So, will Daniel Bibby be able to get the bonus points for his boys? No. Nope. It goes past the left hand upright. The score remains 36-7. Susie's well ahead in this, the Silver Pier final of the Amsterdam Sevens. A lot of congratulations to Susie Seven. At full time, 36-7. Some happy faces there.